The only black-owned yoga studio in Kitchener-Waterloo, Ontario, is now closing its doors after its founder says she cannot take any more online racist abuse. We are joined this morning by the owner of Juicy Yoga Studio, Salam Debs. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad to have you with us to learn more of your story. I want to share, first of all, with our viewers what you posted on Instagram about why you needed to close Juicy Yoga. You said, we are closing because of the unsustainable financial impacts of the pandemic and the ongoing racist violence I've experienced as the only Black-owned yoga studio in my community. Tell us what the last few years have been like for you. Well, the last few years, like I think most small businesses have been incredibly difficult. Um, you know, we've experienced financial impacts uh, due to COVID-19. And, um, you know, really when we started to integrate all of the COVID-19 guidelines in our small business in the yoga studio, we ensured that we had, you know, mask uh, mandates and vaccine um, vaccine certificates and ensured that we had distancing and we were really prioritizing, you know, immune compromised um, clients that would come to our business. Um, and that's when the hate started to begin. Hmm. We started to receive harm and, and, and violence and, and messages that we were discriminating, that we were, um, you know, taking away people's freedoms. And we started to notice that rhetoric starting uh, right really at closer to the beginning of, of, of the pandemic. And that continued on as we saw, you know, uh, you know, a long time later, the uh, Freedom Convoy or the Truckers Convoy happened. And because I'm an anti-racism educator, I spoke out about um, what we see in our communities and, and throughout Canada and started to receive um, thousands of hateful, violent, racist messages um, along with death threats that led to many different changes that we had to make within our business. Yeah, and I'm, I find it really curious about, you know, earlier in this year, which is when the, the convoy protests were happening in Ottawa, that the increase in the amount of, of online hate that you received happened. Uh, looking online, there are countless comments from people heartbroken to lose you in the community, a community that you helped to build. What does their support mean to you? The support means... I mean, the support is so incredible. Um, you know, we built a community that is rooted in yoga and meditation and care. And, um, you know, we were a hub for learning and a hub for connection. And it's a it's a space that I'm, I'm mourning. I've been in grief for the last couple of weeks about the fact that I could never have imagined that we would be closing our studio. And in my mind, the studio would be open for another 10 years. When you're not teaching classes or running the studio or building a fabulous community that you're doing, you're also an anti-racism educator. How, how disheartening has it been to be at the center of an issue that you're actively teaching about, educating about, and fighting against at the same time? Well, that's the interesting thing that, you know, it's unfortunate to say, but my situation is not unique. Mm -hmm. um, I know so many small businesses and black, indigenous and racialized people within this country who own small businesses and who do speak out against, um, you know, racism, experience harm and violence. And unfortunately, my situation is an example of why anti-racism work is so necessary because of the fact that there is a, an idea or a myth in this country that maybe racism isn't as prevalent. But really, um, I could tell you, you know, really dozens and dozens of stories that have happened in the last couple of years that have been incredibly traumatizing to me as a black, um, you know, business owner and as, as a community member. What's next for you? Well, I am in the process of just trying to move through the closing of our studio. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what I, I realize is that um, I will never stop teaching. I will never stop providing uh, service to my community in terms of yoga and meditation, holistic life coaching and anti-racism work. And so in my heart, in my mind, I feel that how I will best be able to serve my community is um, really focusing on black, indigenous and racialized communities, those who have mostly been underserved, those communities who are normally not um, in these spaces and do not get access and really focusing on those communities and creating a space where healing and yoga and meditation and activism really intersect in a real mm -hmm. meaningful way.
Salem, it's been a real pleasure to talk to you this morning. I'm sorry about the closure of Juicy Yoga, but I'm happy you're still in the space of educating. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.